I always start these out with a general picture in my mind of what I'm going to do. But sometimes I change courses as I go. Uh, this is, you know, when you're tying flies for yourself, it's different than when you have an order of 10 dozen or 20 dozen or 50 dozen flies and you're supposed to make them all the same. We have the luxury of tying these flies the way we would like to, like them to look, which means sometimes we go a little bit different route. I'm going to start here with a blueberry chromatic brush at the butt and I'm going to spice it up a little bit which you will see I tell you but I'm having a hard time thinking and talking at the same time so I'm going to try to focus on what I'm doing here and then just see what happens next how's that I think I said something about fancying this butt up a little bit. So I have my tools here sort of organized. I can hear the cats going wild in the other room. So how am I going to fancy this up? Well, I'm going to throw in just a couple of strands and grizzly flutter legs and you notice I'm not worrying too much about it. I'm going to get them sort of spread out a little bit but I find the river's current takes care of that quite nicely. And I'm going to throw on a strand of lateral scale flash. One strand on that side. Bring it over on this side. Now I'm going to put a little bit of blueberry. No, this is not blueberry. This is, I think, sea blue. This is, um, the first brush I used was a chromatic brush. This is a minnow head brush. A little bit denser texture little bit different color. There we go. My tube rotated a little bit. You can adjust your tube, you can mess with your mandals and whatnot to get your tubes tighter or looser. I like mine just kind of in between. Okay, we've got a little bit of flash, we've got a little bit of rubber leg on there. Now, how about a body? And I'm going to go with pearl flat diamond braid. Love this stuff. And my tube is rotating more than I more than it normally does. I don't know why. I know why, because it's early. I'm gonna go meet one of my buddies, have coffee here in a few minutes. That's probably why. 
the little dabs of cement I'm applying, I would consider them a nicety, but not a requirement. So here we go. I'm going to go back to my minnow, my blue minnow head brush. But just a couple of turns. Provides a little bit of bulk to support what I'm going to apply next, which will be Marabou. So first I'm going to put on a just a couple of turns of Kingfisher Blue Marabou. And depending on how many turns of these various colors you use, this, this fly can either have a decidedly blue cast to it or a decidedly purple cast to it. And I'm not always sure what's going to happen until I'm finished. And of course, which color you put underneath or on top does affect the outcome. So there's our Kingfisher Blue. Now here comes our Purple. And you know, you talk about Purple and you talk about Kingfisher Blue, but I would say Kingfisher Blue is a fairly standard color. When you talk about purple, and you order purple from different suppliers, it really kind of comes out looking different to me. And I find some purples very pleasing, and I find many purples that I do not find particularly pleasing. So I kind of hunt and peck around until I get colors that I like. So this is this part here is going to be a little tricky. My stem is being pesky, so I just released my hackle pliers, and now I'm going to see if I can make sense of this mess here. It's always tricky when you look your fingers after handling purple marabou because you could easily come back with a purple tongue. Okay, I like that. I think I got lucky. Now, I'm going to put in four strands. Will I put in four strands or will I put in three? Let's see. Let's. I'm going to put on however many I have here. I have three strands of grizzly flutter legs and I want them to be back to the rear of the fly. I'm going to lash them right on top here and then I'm going to spread the one on either side I'm going to pull it down just a little bit and then wrap again and then on top, I'm going to put two strands of lateral scale instead of one on each side, nice and long. Actually, I think I cut that short enough, I'm not going to be able to rotate it, so I'm going to need to just put some on the other side. And I said I was going to do two strands and I, oh heaven, 
what have I done? I have three strands. So, looks good. Now, I'm going to have some fun here if I can find it. I'm going to throw on a couple of little skinny grizzly saddles. One on this side. Yeah. Put one on this side. Those add so much to the look of your fly. Now, I could put a cone straight on there, but I have where is it? Here it is. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit of a head hack on there. This happens to be a blue dyed grizzly, a grizzly dyed blue. I thought, you know, I don't really know if I have that tied in well enough. And if I was thinking it, I should have known better. So I'm, I'm trying to rotate my hackle stem so that this feather will go on the way I want it to. Let's see if it will or not. feathers tucked under. I'm still wrapping my lateral flash around the shank. So, you know, this is the stuff we deal with. This is how it goes. And you might as well have fun with it. Because it's all going to work out in the end. We're going to find a way to make this work. Besides, remember, I had one more turn of one more strand of lateral flash than I had intended, so it's okay that we wind up trimming that one off. Try to get most of those wild hackle barbules. Looks like I'm in good shape so far. Get ready to put on my cone here. Got a couple wild feathers that the cone will push back for me. So I have a, a blue sonic disc. I like these sonic discs. I like the look, so I like the finish, the metallic finish. I think they come in plastic too. They, you know, it's endless. It's going to look really nice. So I'm going to pull that off. I want to make sure that I can open up that tube promptly before it gets too firm. Melt that down. See what I'm doing here. Open up that tube nicely. Let's slide this back on the mandrel. Show off our latest creation.
purple and blue tube intruder, sonic disc, it's going to swim nicely, big profile, I got flash, there we go, I thought I had flash on the bottom, which would be okay, flash is on top, rubber legs, wings, go out and have fun with this one, thanks.